presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. There's no one's truth. It's no one's truth but your own. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 355, NASDAQ up 120, S&P's up 39, gold contract down $5.80, trading at 1772 an ounce. You got silver up 20 cents, trading $22.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 41, $71.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down two ticks, trading 133.04. 30 year up eight at 164 flat and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 200 ticks, trading out at 93,408. Euro 116, yen 109.79, the British pound 136 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We got the SPY right now trading up 410, you are uh, over the uh, high of yesterday. we get got another contraction of volume up here, and we're at 437.61. Uh, if this is where we end up closing, folks, that's a, this the thing I suspect coming into a Friday, you're gonna get another little pop. You get light volume. My take is that we're setting up a very large ABC structure on the way down. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. What do we have at the three Qs? Three Qs out here actually look like they'll fail today. So this one's gonna be really intriguing. And this is the number you gotta keep your eye on coming into the close, folks. It's 369.25. We made 371.07 out here. That was the top of the downdraft of Monday. Um, we got over that and we're gonna close underneath it. If that's what we have, NDX 100 is gonna lead us to lower prices. Gold, gold contract out here trading at a price point right now. We're down eight bucks. You're trading at 1770. And this is going to be cool looking at gold. This is always cool looking at gold on Fed Day. Okay, so this is what you had. The bottom line is that we get up to a price point of 1788. You get down to a price point of 1764. We're trading out at 1769. You get 156,000 contracts trading. That's a higher high with more contract volume. We're going higher. We take a look at the silver market. Silver out here, December silver. You're trading up 13 cents. It's going to be the same type of chart, I suspect, when we take a look at it. Up, down, all around, there's no doubt, man. Uh, so you, on the silver market, you got up to a price point of uh, 23.15. We get down to 22.45. Right now, you're at 22.74. Notes and bonds, and this is the market, man. If you want to, you want to know where the interest rates are going, this says it all. Bottom line, lower for longer in interest rates. 10-year down three ticks, trade 146. That's a sideways move. We take a look at the 30-year. Inside of the 30-year right now, you're up six ticks. You get 342,000 contracts traded. That's basically, that is higher volume. The 30-year as well as the 10 are going to be going after the highs of the 4th of uh, August. 
and King Dollar. We go take a look at King Dollar over here. What do you have with King Dollar right now? King Dollar is up 209 ticks. King Dollar looks like it wants to go test the last swing high that we had up here, which is the, on the 20, 20th of August. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Fed Day. Okay, so we had out here is this, folks. You had status quo happening. You got the uh, Powell's out there right now on a press conference. Uh, the way that it's looking, taper is going to start maybe in three or four months. Uh, the bottom line is that rates aren't going up until uh, 2023. And we are in September of 2021. The thing that's so intriguing to me about, uh, in general, about how, well, in general, how people, where people think rates are going to go, meaning they're going to go, when they're going to go up, versus what the Fed continues to say. Um, these rates aren't going up for a long time, folks. That's the real bottom line. Um, you know, so it's going to be lower for longer. The market's telling you it's lower for longer out here. Um, it actually cracks me up when I look at the gold contract out here because it's like, you know, yeah, you, you, you smoked it on the way down today. Um, uh, you know, I would say you smoked it because we started out at 1775. We go to 1788. You come back down. You know, good, good luck to the folks that want to shot gold at this particular point. That, that's my, and, and the reason I'm saying that, folks, we're in a low interest environment for a long time. We're not talking like months. We're talking a couple years. That's the real bottom line. That's how this thing is shaking out. So we'll see how the rest of the shakes out, but um, that's, how it, that's how it's looking. Inflation, they're talking about inflation out here, meaning at the Fed. They're still basically saying that, hey, listen, man, you know, we're only at 2.2. Inflation has come back. Uh, they think it's going to get under control, not under control. They, they like what's happening at this particular point, that it's going to calm down three or four months. I don't see it. I, I don't see that happening. OK, I see that uh, they've allowed it to go. And it's one of those things. You always got to be careful what you want, that inflation's here and it's here in spades. Let's go take a look at the oil market out here. The oil market's getting some movement out here. Uh, we get the oil market up a buck forty four. We take a look at that active contract. Right now, what you have, you have 7193, and we have, let's see how many contracts. You get 354,000 contracts. You're approaching the, the highs of last week, and you get volume behind the move. This thing was, this is things going to go after its highs of uh, 7358. That's how this baby's set up. If we go take a look at the uh, OIH, uh, which has a, a few of the uh, Energies in it, that's up 485. Some of the other high volume equities, well, here, let's do this. Facebook is getting smoked. Uh, Facebook right now, and this is what this is all about, folks. This is about the aspect that Facebook had did a filing, actually, um, that the change in the Apple um, operating system has hit them. That's what it comes down to. They, they, they had talked prior that, hey, listen, they thought this thing was going to happen. Um, and, the, well, let's see, what do they say? The bottom line is that they said, and during the earnings call in July, they said that they expected to get hit. Well, the bottom line is that uh, today they're basically saying that, yes, it did get hit. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 441. The Nasdaq's up 172. The S&Ps are up 52. Let's go into the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness out here today. And we have uh, strength out here. You have uh, Goldman Sachs putting 83 positive points, Boeing 55. We haven't, we haven't seen Boeing show up in a long time. American Express 31, Microsoft 29. Taken away from it, United Health minus 22. Amgen minus 6. That's about it there. Inside of the NDX 100. We have the strength is JD.com. You have uh, Dexcom. Uh, JD.com is up 3.7%. Dexcom is up 3.6%. You got Bookings.com up 35 And Fox is up 3.4%. Taken away from it. INCY. That's down 7.7%. Uh, that's a number, man. Peloton's off 5.6%. You get Facebook off 34 And you get Adobe off 29 uh, If we get back to the Fed for a second, uh, what's going to be, uh, well, we all know what's going what's to what's come down the pike um, about the trading by the couple Fed governors. Uh, what was interesting listening to the, uh, the news conference that is still going on, and, you know, Powell had got a question about the, you know, the two Fed governors basically trading. Is it ethical? Um, they'll, they'll find out when this shakes out. But check this out, folks. This is what is really crazy, and this is why these guys should get nailed, actually. They should resign, actually. And what it is is this. So there's one thing. Let's picture that, you know, you have your ethics and you have your policy and you have all of this, right? And what, I think it was Rosengrand, okay, Rosengrand, okay, which is the Boston Fed president, he was trade. okay, so what Powell was saying is that none of them can trade banks, period, okay? But guess what? He was trading bonds. Bonds, okay, that is like, the, the, the Fed, that's what they were buying hand over fist. They're still buying hand over fist. That is the thing that is so off the wall and so far out. And evidently, he's that arrogant, meaning Rosengarten from Boston, uh, the Boston Fed, that, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and, I, and I'm going to start trading bonds, okay? Bottom line, you know, we'll see this come down the pike, and I, I suspect um, there's going to be changes. Uh, it'd be, to me, it would be a whole different deal. You know, you buy a stock, you get a stock portfolio, right? I mean, they shouldn't be, my take would be they shouldn't be trading like you and I can trade, though. There's no, you can't get in, you can't get out, you can't swing trade. Because can, can you imagine, man, it'd be so cool <laughs> having <laughs> that type of information, right? 
and you're trading, it'd be like, give me a break. That You couldn't even call it trading. It would just be, you know, a wheelbarrow collecting money. That's the real bottom line. It's just a matter of when that came, when that money came in. That, that's how this shakes out. Look at this gold contract, man. You know, what cracks me up about gold today is that all you have to do is really understand what the Fed is saying and it blows my mind that they even get could get gold down to 764 today. And the reason I'm saying that is that if you are a fundamentalist, this makes zero sense, okay, that the aspect of gold would be going lower because what we have going for us is that you have inflation going in a, in a huge way. You have interest rates. When I heard <laughs> that they start talking about 2023 it's like 2023 man that is amazing okay we know that it's september of 2021 and we also know and the aspect that no one knows where the economy is going to be another year from now i mean that that's that's a reality okay the bottom line is that we'll see whether people come back to work you get the delta variant out there which is hitting a couple sectors of the market okay so this is what gets so intriguing here as to market-wise, okay? You, you know that as soon as Delta popped its head up again, okay, you get the travel, which is a problem, and you get the restaurants, which is a problem, right? Once that gets rid of, yeah, those people will come back. Simultaneously, as those got hit, guess what? The whole deal about working from home, those equities get more business. So there's still, you know, a lot of wild cards that are out here that will play out. That, that's the real bottom line. And the biggest wild card, I would say, out there is that how many, when is the Fed going to be saying that we are at full employment? That's, that's the kicker that is going to be, I would say, the, well, to Powell and to the Fed, that is the biggest question. And that's when the liftoff is going to take place. If you actually listen to what he's saying uh, in the news conference, the... Uh, the aspect is going to be very, it's a very high level bar in order to basically lift off rates. And now we're not even talking about the aspect of the debt structures that we already have out here. Okay. So we'll see where it shakes out. Market wise out here, and this is what's really going to be cool looking at this whole thing particularly if I'm right about the, about the aspect that we're going to be seeing lower prices coming at us. It's going to be, okay, why are lower prices coming at us, okay? If, in fact, the bottom line is that it's going to be, you know, free, well, inexpensive money for a longer period of time. My take on that, folks, is that you're in a correction. It broke the trend line with conviction. And when you break these with conviction, they're at a whole different ball game. Um, and you, you break with conviction, it's just time that, you know, folks are going to take money off the table. It's real, listen, it's real possible that they're taking money off the table for the aspect of, let's say, a capital gains tax is going to go up maybe 4% next year, you know, and 4% ends up being a lot of money uh, when, you know, these large funds are talking about huge amounts of money. So we'll see where it shakes out. FedEx, FedEx, uh, getting smoked in a monster way out here. FedEx is down 21 bucks. You're trading at 230. They came out with numbers last night. Bottom line is that their expenses are going up, going up pretty quick. So we take a look at FedEx. Let me see, bring this a little bit closer. I don't need a 20 year chart. We'll do a 10 year monthly chart on FedEx. So you're back inside the breakout area, which is a problem. Now FedEx had hit highs Oh, look at this, man. See, someone always knows something, man. It's just uh, pretty amazing. Okay, so picture this. On a monthly basis, FedEx hit a high of 319. That was the month of May, right? Look at this month of June. Now, this was subtle, but the month of June, big selling, man. Big selling. Uh, that's volume off the high, 59 million on the month. After, after You made a high with 38 million. You come off the high with 59 million. You never like to see volume off a high. Volume off a high, folks is large funds getting out. Next stop in Federal Express last 217 is game. And where I'm getting 217, okay, is the aspect that as you are pulling down, 
That's the last time that we had big volume. You had a big volume in the month of, uh, was September. Uh, it was a year ago, September of uh, last year. So we'll see whether it can hold that price. Um, it's, it's a big number. It certainly is, though. Because what we're going to also have is that you're going to break a consolidation, and you might have the volume on the break. Yeah, you're going to have the volume on the break. So when you get a volume on a break of a consolidation, what happens is this. 234. Wow, man. That's 130 or something. Ooh. I don't see that just yet. But stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up by 440. We get the NASDAQ up 180. S&Ps are up 52. Uh, Adobe also come out with numbers. Uh, now, these, uh, in Adobe's case, these were good numbers. But the bottom line is that... Uh, uh, they, uh, the market had much higher expectations as to where Adobe was going to go. Uh, so uh, Adobe came in with a $3.9 billion to the top line, $3.11 to the bottom line. Adobe's down $19.70 right now. So let's take a look at this, baby, because this, this has a, let's see. Look at that, though. Same deal, man. You, you get a high volume. Uh, no, you don't have a high volume high. These are always problems, man. Oh, man, look at this. Okay, let me put this on a weekly first. Because on a daily, 
Okay, Adobe could be a problem, man. You know, Ad Adobe had broken out. Oh, let's see this. Oh my God, I think I finished an ABC up, and but this was a monster one. Okay, so in a weekly, 536. Oh my God, it was almost 270. 425, 26, 27, 26, 90. Oh, you got to look at this, folks. Okay, so check this out. This is what Adobe did. Uh, Adobe, okay, had a confirmed ABC structure on the way up going. The price projection was 690. It got to 673. Uh, <laughs> this uh, Adobe can make it all the way back now to like 5, 570. 570 to 535. Back to the breakout area. That's how it looks. Uh, Adobe also, if you want to see how this works with volume off the high, someone else was also getting out of Adobe last month. 12 million shares traded after making highs with 7.5. Little problem there. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. What's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, baby? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. You ready for some oh. good football? You gonna go see your alma mater? Ah, uh, geez. Um, you know, we're not going to Notre Dame this year. I have a grandson playing in the band at Georgia Tech, so we're wow. going down there one of these weeks. Oh man, you gotta be psyched! That's awesome, oh, yeah. Frank. It's great. Yeah. That's yep. huge. that. You know, that's a huge workout, man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I watch oh, those. He's got like three to five o'clock, five days a week band practice. I know, man. I know. Pretty yeah. good. That's that's awesome, yep. Frank. Congratulations, man. That's that yeah, is really thanks. freaking that's, cool. That's the point. Yeah. So good. I'm looking for stuff not to sell. You know, I've been selling off here for a while. Okay. And uh I I used to work in the utility industry for many, many years. Okay. And uh I had some utilities and AES is one of them. So I'm looking at a daily chart, and I'm looking at a high volume swing low yep. back uh, January 27th, and it looks like it's stopping at the top of that bar. And I'm wondering what you think of support right there through this downturn. Okay, let's take a look. So the uh, AES, the low is $17, the high is 29 uh, Bottom line is that they uh, take in a lot of money. They take in nine billion dollars, not well, ten billion a year. Um, nice. <laughs> yep, totally, man. I know. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. I can see what you're saying. It's coming to the bottom of the consolidation. Oh yeah. Ooh, you know, Frank, this is always a tough one. And and what I mean here, yeah. folks, is this. I. I don't like charts that are set up like this, meaning that you're coming to the bottom of the consolidation at $23.43, when the next floor, no, it's not bad. The next floor is 21, so that's not bad. I call these like in the middle of no man's land. And listen, it could be right. It could, yeah. come, it could come to that bottom, Frank, and then reject it and go, I always get worried when there's just so much space below it. Um, let me see. Yeah. So one second here. So we don't well, have. Well, get down below that below that swing low. I get twenty two forty one on that spring low in January. Yes. On the daily, I don't know what it is on the weekly. Take a look at the weekly, but. Uh... I mean, I'd wait off just a bit. I. I'd... Well, I'm, I'm holding it. I mean. I'm, oh, you're holding, holding it. Okay. It. Oh, the, well, then, yeah. then the way to do that, then that 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 then just don't let it basically close under the, that whole deal. Um, okay. You, you got. Yeah. Well, actually, here, this, this, this the day. There's the benchmark. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the benchmark is going to be the week of uh, the 20th of uh, November of uh, 2020. See that bar right there? That that's mm -hmm. I know that that's lower, okay. but the top of that bar is twenty one dollars and fifty five cents. Yes. Um, you know, even if it does break that, that should give you some good support right there because you can see that it's both weeks. One week we had thirty million, next week we had thirty four million, and so it's two point five percent dividend, um, which is nice. Yeah. There's no yeah. doubt. Hey yeah. man, can you do us a favor? You know, sure. With the when you're looking at the utilities, right, just in the future, and I'm yeah. telling you, folks, okay, this is something we all should be doing. You know, there's going to be a big turn. Well, there is a big turn already, just just in energy in general, right? And yeah. my take is that there's going to be a fortune made in 
new energy. It, you know, but I'm talking yeah. about something real, not talking about a speculation that when I when I say, can you do us a favor? Because I, I really want to start hunting, not a speculative stock saying, oh, are you going to change the energy business forever? Because yeah. what, what we had, so check this out, folks. What, what got me onto this, Frank, was yesterday when, um, was it British Petroleum that sold? Okay, so one of the big oil companies sold all their um, wells in the Permian Basin in Texas, okay? So uh, yeah. the, the, the Permian, Texas in, 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 is huge, folks. And the reason they did it, okay, so they, they're going to give out, it was BP, it was one of the big ones, okay? Someone else bought it, but they sold all of it. And the reason they did it is that they're, they've already started getting into, you know, clean energy, okay? These Clean energy is going to be huge, man. As soon as I saw that, I said, oh, mate, this is unbelievable. They're getting $9.5 billion. We're, ta we're, not, we're, we're talking one of the major players. So yeah. it's like they're going to jump on it, and we're going to have real clean energy. You know, if the, if the bigger players are going after it, I mean, you know, even the, uh, the people that own it, they're in shock because they're going to get a $7.5 billion, um, you know, dividend. Um, so... I think that thing, I think there's going to be a lot, of, a lot more money made than people realize. And again, I'm not talking just a speculative one. Some of these big companies, if they're yeah, really yeah. into changing, they have the know-how. They have the engineers, right? They have the know-how yeah, yeah. that they can bring this yeah. to the masses at the right price, you know? Well, here's what they have to do, because the problem with wind and solar is they're great when the wind is blowing and when the sun is out. Yes. But every night the sun goes in. Sure. So what they have to do is they have to have a backup uh, plant uh, ready to operate. For fully sure. Fully maintained, fully right. staffed, to kick in whenever the wind doesn't blow. Right. And that's horrendously expensive, and that hasn't been factored into this new energy market yet. Right. But, I, you know, I do see what the BPs are doing and things like that, and... Uh, I'm scratching my head a little bit over it, but yeah, I got my eye on these things. Yeah, because if the, and I'll get the name of the company, folks. It, 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 I start reading and I says, you know what, this is here. I mean, picture this, if you and I yeah. had a big oil company, we wouldn't sell one of our best assets saying, okay, man, we're going to go put more, you know, uh, knowledge and uh, research into something else, man. You know, cooking, yeah, brother. See that happen. Have a great one, yeah, Frank. Have a safe one, man. Bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up at 399. Nasdaq's up 178. S&Ps are up 49. Our guest today, folks, is Brian Andrus. Brian is the president of um, Andrus Development Group. Uh, Andrus Development Group is, the, uh, uh, is a trademark and brand of Stone Ridge Real Estate Company. Uh, they are currently renovating uh, an abandoned 380,000 square foot condominium in Clearwater, Florida into top line luxury residents. You can visit them at marinabay880.com. And I can tell you flat out, folks, okay, if you're looking in the St. Pete, Clearwater area, you got to check this out. This is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yes, I'm prejudiced, okay, because we're in St. Pete now, but I was actually right on Clear, on uh, Cleveland Street, so I know this project very well. And, and when you see what you're looking out at, it's pretty amazing. There's no doubt about it. Brian, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much, Tom. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, first off, you, you have a great space, and you can Google this on Google Earth, folks, okay? On Google Earth, do a 33 North Garden uh, Avenue, and you'll pull this up, and, and you'll see what this looks like. So, tell us what I'd love to get into first. Tell us the challenges of taking over, you know, a development that basically was stalled. Well, it goes like this. Let me give you a little historic and put the, give you the context of this, Tom, if right. I may. Yes, please. Um, what it was and what we actually aren't, even though there was an article saying we're rehabbing it, what I inherited and what I purchased was dirt, was grass, was a lot surrounding a marina. And the in 2006, if we all remember that, yes. it was a tough time, but there was a project going here. This here being 880 North Osceola Avenue in Clearwater. Okay. So I, I had leased and sold a very small property next door, and the president said, hey, listen, the guy who did the marina here, he did a very nice job, put in new seawalls, lifts, water electric, very nice. He was trying to build a high and dry here, and it wasn't going. So I ended up buying the property from him, but that's, 2000, that's, that's moving back to 2019. Now, going back to 2006, there was a large project here envisioned by somebody else, and that did not take off, but they had piles in the ground, Tom, 300 or so piles in the ground. We were able to use some of those. We took all this dirt and then we built brand new. We just finished this 380,000, two story buildings, 87 condos. And what I realized is that having met a lot of very sharp people here in the Bay Area, that includes Larry Feldman and Jeff Finnick and just a lot of different people. Yes. And people you know, people you've ever seen, Steve, Gian, Felipe, um, there's a lot of potential here in this area. And when I remember when I was speaking with Jeff Finnick, and he, he said, and uh, or no, excuse me, with Kevin down in Sarasota, a developer, he said, where are you developing? I said, well, Clearwater, you know, and he, and I kind of said it in a way, I wasn't trying to say it. And he goes, well, no, hang on. He goes, I was asked to, to go up to, to St. Petersburg 12 years ago, and I said, forget it. That place is dead. Yeah. Look at it today. So he said, Clearwater, this goes back about three years ago. He goes, Clearwater, it's just you've got Tampa doing its thing. You've got St. Pete taking off like it is. Clearwater's natural next. And it's true. There's a lot going on here. You mentioned some things we're doing. 33 North Garden Avenue is happens to be a 12-story office building that we did rehabilitate. And that building is now home to a billion-dollar 
uh, company, unicorn company called No Before. So that's gone very well. We've done a lot of projects in the area, but it, as you know, although you're in the financial markets in the main, what we have to do here in this county in Pinellas is really make lemonades out of lemon because a lot of the stuff that we're doing now is transforming the environment or taking something that was there and making it something brand new or renovating something that we have. There's no doubt. And, you know, for all the folks out here, as Brian just mentioned, um, a very large company, uh, no before, okay? Stu and Lars, okay, they started this company, okay? This is a very big security company. Um, I was actually right next to them, and I remember, at first off, I remember when Stu sold, you know, the, the Sun Company, and then when he started yeah. it, it was, like, amazing. Him and Lars, they were the Picture this, folks. I actually saw this. They were next to us at, uh, I was at uh, six, 600 Cleveland, I think. That's right. There was that's two, there was two yeah. people, and now this is a billion-dollar company. So there's no doubt you're, you're in the right space, man. So l let's talk about, well, it's done now, so that's cool. So you got ahead of the aspect of now people having problems getting appliances, they're having all that. So you're up and going, ready to, ready to sell these things, right? We're, we're, we're actually, we've got almost two-thirds sold now. Our people are moving in starting next week. That's awesome. So we just we just literally finished, and um, the the interesting thing about it is this area needed a spark. It needs something to yes. inspire others to get going. So we wanted to set a mark and say, look, here's something very beautiful. It's on a marina. It's on the water. It's not near. It's actually on the water. Why don't you check it out? But we're going to do it in a way that takes all our talents, our meaning. The team I have, my wife, who's dynamic, and put that all together and, and create something. And we've just got great reviews. I'd love to have you up, Tom, when you have a chance, and we'll show you. Uh, we can go see the No Before building again and walk through and say hi to Stu and stuff. But you can. we're only about four blocks from him, so we'll just pop over here and take a look at this. It's really a nice landmark, and we've got just great reviews from veteran brokers, from buyers of all all aspects of life. And I can um, tell you, folks, no matter where you are in the United States, okay, uh, this is an incredible spot. You know, Brian, I came out of Boston 25 years ago, and um, when I came down here, I was looking like, oh, my God, like, this is unbelievable. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. You're looking out the window. And when you look out the window here, folks, if you have a bad day, well, I can't help you, man. I don't think anyone can help you. Um, hey, yeah, so, so, so let me ask you, where are the buyers coming from? Great question. Um, yesterday, uh, actually, that was this morning. Wasn't that this morning, Kevin? Yeah, this morning. We had a, a Dr. J from California, Southern California. Yeah. Uh, actually, well-known doctor, very nice guy. He and his family uh, purchased one this morning, so they're from Los Angeles moving out here. We have a um, – yesterday afternoon, somebody came down, and they're picking something, and they're from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Right. Uh, because the, va the value proposition here is amazing compared to, you know, these other cities. Even even when we're talking across the other coast. I mean, the value proposition is is as good as you get, as far as I can see. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, when I first came here 25 years ago, I thought I had hit a gold rush. I couldn't believe the prices. And I, I was a little jaded. And so I remember telling the real estate agent, I said, look, should I offer 210? Because they're asking 200. And he looked at me and he said, what are you, from California? And I said, actually, yes. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, we, we ended up getting this property for 200. But I was ready to pay more. And so you're right. There are a lot of people from the Northeast or from actually all over. I mean, yes, they come from right. all over. There's no one place. There's locals, too. Orlando, uh, across from Clearwater Beach. There. And it's great because we're getting the jobs now, too. I mean, you know, you're getting the jobs happening, so it's pretty incredible. Listen, folks, okay, uh, the website is marina880.com. Go down and check it out, man. I mean, check Marina it out in Google. Marina Bay, Tom, 880. Marina Bay, 880. Marina Bay, 880. Sorry, man. Well, listen, Brian, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on again. I look forward. Hey, listen, man, I, I definitely want to see this place. It's, it's a, I appreciate the invitation. Got an invite. Thank you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Take okay, care. Okay. Bye bye. Stay right there, folks. To come right back. Dow Industrials uh, up 330. Nasdaq up 147. S&P's up 40. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up at 371. Nasdaq's up 166. S&Ps are up 45. And uh, this market, folks, okay, is going to be really uh, intriguing. I, I really like where it's actually going to close because it's going to be easier deciphering where this bounce is going to stop because the queues are going to close over the highs of Monday and they were under the highs when I started the program. So that's saying that Thursday, Friday, we're still going to continue with the pop, which would be beautiful, okay? Because the bottom line is that one, technically the way these always set up, folks, is this. If this pop can get into the lows of the, uh, the, the trading days going from the uh, 13th, of uh, September over to the 17th, uh, it's a lot easier understanding what the market wants to do. I know it's still speculating, but it's a much clearer picture. And to me, that, that clearer picture would be that, yeah, you're going to try to get into it like on the queues right now. I can picture the queues trying to get into 374, um, 32, 22. And that's where you get the rejection. You know, it looks like uh, it wants to close over, which would be pretty cool. And then if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY set up the same way. The SPY right now is up $4.30. You're at 437. dollars uh, The SPY can get up and get into uh, 445. you know. And, you know, what ends up happening, of course, is that, you know, the bulls are going to say, okay, we're going to go for all-time highs. The bears are going to say, okay, I, I think we're going downtown. Uh, but I, li I like how this is trading right now, uh, in particular for exactly what I just said. We go take a look at the let's look at the, the IWM because the IWM is the one that um, cracked and uh, it's been cracking for a while. So the IWM, 
Yeah, the IWM is going to still... This is up 330, but you got a big contraction. It'll, it'll go a little bit higher, but the IWM still wants to run down to this uh, 209 area. Uh, we're 220 right now on the IWM, so we'll see where that baby uh, does shake out. We have the 10-year right now. The 10-year is at 1.30, okay? So lower for longer when we're talking rates. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Thanks for joining us, folks. Come back and join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off. Gets us straight for the day, 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Building wealth.